Welcome to Charlie Adventures. From our previous video, we had spent a few nights in Hui Sai. Today, we are heading out to explore a different part of Laos. We rented another van service for the next part of our trip. Once we met with our driver, loaded all of our stuff, we went to the waterfront for one last meal in this town. Fresh kaboon for breakfast. We spent the next three days on the road. Starting from Hoi Sai, we travel across provinces and towns to end up in Sam Nhe near the Vietnam border. Our first stop is at this huge market in Luang Nam Tha. Markets like this are essential to the livelihood of nearby residents. This is where you can buy all of your groceries like fresh fruits and vegetables, meats, pantry items, and more. You can also indulge in cooked dishes ready to eat. We had lunch at this market before heading out. Our driver helped prep and serve bowls of kasoi noodle soup. Back on the road for a few more hours. Our next stop is at a village where one of our relatives live. We actually brought a large suitcase filled with gifts so that we can give some to each family we visited along the way. We gave them some clothes and money. A little goes a long way. It's evening time now, and we just arrived in the town of Muang Sai in Udong Sai province. Our driver helped us look for a place to stay for the night. In a town like this, you won't find a typical hotel. Instead, there are small accommodations called guest houses spread across town. Our chauffeur drove around to several guest houses nearby to ask for the best deal and to see if they have enough rooms available to accommodate all of us. There were times when we had to split up into different guest houses due to room availability issues. Another night has gone by. We have a full day on the road to reach our destination. In case you were wondering, our driver didn't stay at the same guest house as we did last night. Or most nights for that matter. Now, depending on the arrangement you have with your van service, you may have to pay for their nightly stay. But in most cases, the driver would look for a place to stay by themselves. Many of them actually sleep in their vehicles. We are passing through the province of Luang Prabang. The city of Luang Prabang is one of the most popular places to visit in Laos. But because we had already been there two years ago, we skipped this city and continued our journey. After several hours of driving, we stopped at this small market to rest and to grab something to eat. I say small market compared to the one in Nuan Nam Ta, but the amount of produce sold here is still significant in this area. As you can see, there is a person manning each farm stand and they are selling from their own crops, their own catches, their own livestock and products made by hand in order to earn a living for their family. This is not a supermarket owned by a corporation. We are passing through the small town of Nong Kiao, which is located alongside Nam U River. This is another popular tourist destination. After finding a guest house to stay for the night, we walked to a nearby restaurant for dinner. Right. 
This restaurant has a floating deck on the river. Our driver also likes fishing, so this was a perfect opportunity to try to catch some fish. We invited him to sit down to have dinner with us, and whenever there's a bite, he would run over to check the poles. <laughs> Unfortunately, he came up empty while we were eating, but did end up catching a few fish after we left the restaurant. We stopped for lunch and our driver is cooking up last night's fresh catch. No labor now. I have a, a cook. <laughs> she caught these fishes last night. <laughs> Now heading to San Nua, which is in Huapan province. For lunch, we have Vietnamese pho and drip coffee with condensed milk. We couldn't help but ask about all those jars of weird stuff submerged in water. Turns out it's alcohol, so basically homemade moonshine. We didn't try the ones with the snake or scorpion though, maybe next time. <laughs> we stayed in Samnia for two nights while we went to explore the area east of here. Every road we've been on had some kind of farm stand selling stuff. We saw that this one was selling young bamboo shoots, which are edible, so we decided to stop and get some. At some point, we missed a turn and ended up at the Vietnam border crossing station. We had to turn around and lost about two hours from our original destination. Oh, 
Oh, that one. I thought you were talking about the tall one. <laughs> Look at that. It's short like me, but very fruitful. One, two, three. <laughs> While on our way to the rice fields, we stumbled upon another Mian village. The villagers were gathered here for a traditional shaman funeral ceremony. They were surprised to see other Mian people who came all the way from America and offered for us to join the party. We shook hands, made some introductions to find out which part of the family tree we came from. We didn't stay long since we were running late, so we took some pictures with the locals and we're on our way. Our final destination to this leg of the road trip was at a rice farming village. We uploaded a separate video on that, so we'll link it in the description below. In our next video, we will be making our way to Vientiane, the capital of Laos. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.